Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, let's take a look again on your currency. So let's try to deal with all this mess that has happened recently. So once again, the external factors such as a statement from the Christine Lagarde and later the gross domestic product report have made the actually decisive impact on the market performance. Uh, so all the stuff we discussed in our report, so actually nothing new here. So uh, it's so once again that actually external factors are breaking the technical picture and uh, turning market uh, just uh, in opposite direction, breaking the structure of the swings that have been formed recently. So speaking about the data report, uh, the most first impact has come from the Christine Lagarde press conference uh, that investors treat as a dovish, which is because Lagarde uh, was speaking too, ma too much about the weakness of the European economy. So, and, and in different aspects, uh, starting in production, and some employment, some other uh, moments have been mentioned in, 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 in her speech. And that led investors to treat their comments as a dovish and suggest that a uh, cut of the rate could come earlier than Lagarde uh, was speaking about. So officially it is expected around June, but market right now priced in the first cut of the rate somewhere in April. We warned about this in our reports that actually the European Central Bank could start rate cutting even earlier than the Fed, although initially it was supposed to, uh, in opposite directions uh, differently. Second is gross domestic product report uh, in the United States, and we think that it absolutely totally misunderstood by the market. Uh, so nothing actually, it's nothing good about the rising of the three point three percent. Just because uh, investors are forgetting for a minor detail, which is called the budget deficit. We explain this. We will uh, explain this in our weekly report, and you will see that in, in reality, the gross domestic product has dropped, and it already stands in the negative zone. Uh, but since the budget deficit is not taken into consideration, because this is actually the source of the financing of the gross domestic product growth. Everybody stands in euphoria and surprising how strong the United States economy is rising. So this very soon uh, could could lead to the really drastic sh shifts uh, on the markets. Uh, well, um, meantime, in the nearest term perspective, for the few sessions, probably well, these events really have uh, become really important, and some momentum, impulse of these events probably should last in the beginning of the next week as well. That's why in the nearest term, hardly the tendency will change. Besides, if we'll take a look at the uh, other markets, dollar index, also nothing really wrong with the upper direction. Context still remains bullish here. Um, yes, market still stands inside of the consolidation, but we do not see any clear bearer signs. That could tell us that something's going wrong and uh, is uh, stands near the destruction. Currently, we even um, could suggest a higher and, and a larger pattern that we already talked about. Once this area will be reached, you can see that we also could start speaking about the larger handshore pattern, which will have even stronger potential. The most interesting moment right now is the appearing of the grower on the weekly chart. We briefly mentioned it in the last week in the report, but right now, right now market is calling precisely around the MACD predictor on the weekly chart. And it will be interesting where it will close. Of course, it will not change the overall background and it will be just the pattern which also could fail. But still, appearing of such a pattern on the weekly time frame is always uh, important and we need to take into consideration. Additionally, we could say that market now, right now is dropping and right now dropped below the yearly pivot point, which uh, tells us that gradually, slowly, but uh, here is rising of the bearer sentiment in the market. So we'll see what will happen next. For a short term uh, perspective, if we'll take a look at the performance on the lower time frames, on the full time frame chart, you could see what has happened recently. 
even after the two grubbers have been formed. Starting of the data report releases, you can suggest collapse it and erase both grubbers. That's the point where the actual external factors intruded. Because until this moment, everything was nice. So market was showing up prediction following the normal tendency that we have described. But, well, that's the risk that uh, actually always happens in such days when central bank, central bank meetings, important date release, and so on. That's why I do not like these days. Uh, so, in, with this new information in place, currently you could see that probably we should keep an eye on the possible reaching of the OP target, 107.42. But at the same time, I do not see many things to do. Uh, so we do not consider taking any long position by far. For a short entry, we need to get some bounce here to consider possible position taking because on the hourly charts, take a look, market is standing in some widening uh, triangle. Here's our hand shoulders passion has failed. You can see that was prior the date release. So market starts forming the shorter. That was the moment on the release. So here's actually was no stop around the 618 level. So just was broken without any response. So currently we have here a local minor XOP around one rate. It's also the border of this triangle. Supposedly the market could touch it and then we could see, get some bounce. So most most probable that in the beginning of the next week we consider possible taking the short position if everything will be okay. And we'll consider some uh, resistance areas where it will be more comfortable to do. Um, that's uh, actually what we have currently on the euro.